Hey everyone, welcome to the second lesson of the course on data stores. In the previous lesson, you learned how to create a data store and add data to it from another module. In this lesson, you will learn how to search your data store and retrieve data records that meet a filter's criteria. Let's start by manually adding some data to the data store that was created in the first lesson called Tutorial Data Store. In order to browse through the data in a data store, manually edit records and add new ones, you need to go to the data stores page. As you can see, the data store is displayed here. I can now click on Browse in order to view all the records in this data store. The data store currently contains one record, which has the name item assigned to Alex and the age item assigned to 45. In order to add a new record, click on Add. As mentioned in the previous lesson, you can leave the key value empty if you want Integrad to automatically generate a unique key for your record. Let's assign name to Mike and age to 30. To create the record, click Save. As you can see, the record is now created. Let's create one more. For this record, let's assign the name to George and the age to 30. There we go. The data store now contains a total of three records. The goal now is to be able to search through these records and obtain records that match specific criteria. Let's go back to the scenario and see how this can be achieved. For this example, the scenario begins with the data store search records module. Let's click on this module to set it up. The first thing to do is choose the data store you want to search. If you don't already have one, you can click on add to create a new one. Let's select the tutorial data store from the menu. Now you'll see a filter which helps you define the criteria that the records you are searching for need to have in order to be retrieved. Click on the first field in order to choose the item you would like to filter the records by. Let's select age. Now selecting the filtering operator you would like to use. For this demonstration, let's retrieve all the records in the data store that have age equal to 30. The suitable operator in this case is the equal to under numeric operators. The reason this has to be a numeric operator is because the age item is defined to be a number data type value inside the data store. If you are filtering the search based on the name item, then you'd use the text operator instead as the name item is defined to be a text data type value inside the data store. In the following fields, specify the age value that the records you are searching for need to have in order to be retrieved in the search. Let's enter 30 for this example. You can filter your search even further by adding more filtering rules. Here you can sort the list of records you receive, and finally you can enter a limit on the number of records you would like to retrieve. You can leave this field empty to retrieve all records that match your filtering criteria. This module is now set up. So now let's create a scenario where the data retrieved from the data store is added as a new row on a Google Sheet. To do this, let's search for the Google Sheets app and select the Add a Row module. After adding or selecting an existing connection and selecting the spreadsheet and the sheet from the list, the next thing to do is to map the elements outputted by the data store module to the relevant fields. As you can see in the Google Sheet labeled data, there are two columns, name and age. So here in the Google Sheets module, let's map the name element outputted by the data store to the name field and the age element to the age field. That's it. The scenario is now fully configured. Let's first save it and execute it by clicking run once. Great, the scenario executed successfully. Let's check the Google Sheet to see if the data has been added to it. As you can see, the two rows have been created and both records have age set to 30, meeting the search criteria that was set. So to recap, the data store search records module is used to retrieve records that match specific filtering criteria that you specify. The data searched for and retrieved from the data store can then be used in the subsequent modules in your scenario. And this concludes this lesson on how to search and retrieve data from a data store. In the next lesson, you will learn how to update and delete records in a data store. See you there.